The informal settlement operating housing pilot project aims at constructing affordable houses for residents of informal settlements in the Comas region. It is a collaboration between the City of Windu, the National Housing Enterprise, and the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development. The houses will be constructed on 113 residential urbans in Korea Hubs Extension 4. In her keynote address, the Deputy Minister of Urban and Rural Development, Evelyn Nawases Tayele, urged the city of Windhoek to ensure deserving residents benefit from the project. It is very disappointing to learn that, in fact, the intended beneficiaries are not benefiting from this project. And I do not know where the fault is coming in, whether our system is not that up to date when it comes to screening or scrutinizing to ensure these applicants that are applying are the targeted beneficiaries of the programs. So let's please improve on that one because it is becoming very unfair. The government is flowing in money to ensure that we are doing away with the sharks that we are witnessing today even in this location. One of the project's beneficiaries, Mika Dandi, stated that owning a home is everyone's dream and he is happy to have a house that will serve as a legacy he will leave behind for his children. House ownership is a dream for every matured individual. Uh, in a sense that when you have a house, a place that you call home, um, then you are assured that your family and your kids are having a safe place to live in. Owning a house also ensures that you are safe from all the different weather uh, conditions, the heat, the cold, the rain, so, and above all, one day when you pass on, you are also ensured that your children and whoever you are leaving behind have a place where they can live and call home in your absence. Another beneficiary, Lucia Matilifange, who has been applying for over two years to be a beneficiary of the project, said she is happy that she will be out of a shack and be able to raise her children in a better home. It took us long year and year, to be in the bashu, where we call a house. But here, I see an opportunity where I'm going to be with my children, where a place where I'm going to, to, to say is a home, where my children will rejoice together with me. The initiative spearheaded by the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development began in 2020 and has already completed nearly 700 houses for individuals in Windhoek's informal settlements.